Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to do another example and uh, we'll use this to create a simple interest calculator. Uh, we are going to, so in the simple interest calculator, we will enter three fields. First, we'll enter principal, then we're going to enter rate of interest and then time. So these are going to be the three fields that we'll ask the user to enter and then there is going to be a button, okay? And this button, once you hit the button, it will going to calculate the simple interest. As simple as that. This is going to be the lightning web component that we are going to create and we will add to our home page. So first thing is we will go ahead and uh, open our command palette. Create a lightning web component and we'll call it as simple interest calculator. And uh, here we open the HTML page and inside of this template, the first thing is we will use the lightning card. The title would be simple interest calculator. And close this lightning card. Inside of this, we are going to use lightning layout. And uh, we will say multiple rows. And inside of this lightning layout, we'll create a lightning layout item. And uh, the size of this would be 12. And padding is going to be around medium. Now, inside of this lightning layout item, we are going to create a lightning input tag. This is just the look and feel. Type would be number. So we'll ask the user to enter number. And then the label would be enter principal. This is going to be the label. And then we are going to add a on change handler here. And uh, we'll call it as principal change handler. And we will define it in, in, my, in our class, in our .js file. And now we'll close our lightning input. So this is the first we have created. Now similarly, let's go ahead and copy this for three more times. And uh, let's go ahead and shift it. The second one is to enter time. So this is going to be enter number of years. I hope everybody knows the formula. The formula to calculate simple interest is equals to principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time divided by 100. This is the formula. So we are asking the user to enter principal, rate and time. The next one, the handler will call it as time change handler and the third one would be enter rate of interest and uh, this is going to be a rate change handler and now we will add a button as well so the last item we let's go ahead and copy this inside of this it's going to be a button instead of a input text so we're going to go ahead and uh, we will use button and the label for the button would be calculate si that's going to be the label for the button the position of the button we can call it in the center we'll put it in the center and uh, on click when you click on this button there is going to be a handler and the handler we are going to say calculate si handler that's going to be the name of the handler and now we're going to close this lightning button okay so this is the lightning button now the next thing is we also need to add the output. So we have to display the output, right? So for the output displaying, we are going to add a tag lightning formatted text. This is what we will use to display the output. Okay, so the value is equals to current output. This is what we're going to use. So this is the look and feel. Okay, so all we have done is we have created a, we have added three different input fields. One is for to enter the principal, then for the rate of interest and for the time. 
and then we have enter principal then we have on change handler would be principal change handler to, for the time we have added the time change handler and then for the rate we have added the rate change handler and then we have added a button and once you click on the button it will call calc uh, it will go to calculate si handler it will call this and then in order to display the output we have added this formatted text where the output would be displayed so this is just the look and feel now the next thing is we need to provide all these handlers definition so we'll go ahead and open our js file inside of the js file the first thing is we need to get the track decorator and uh, here we are going to first property that we're going to define would be the current at the rate track current output and then we'll define three properties principal these are just private properties and I'm not using track decorator next or anything like that. So I'll just go ahead and say rate of interest just for private use. And then we have is number of years. Okay. So the first one is I'm going to create is the principal change handler and whatever the event it fires, I'm going to get the value of that. Whatever the user has entered in the input box and I'm going to store that value into this dot principle but the thing is the value that comes is going to be a string so I'm going to convert it into a integer value so that's what I'm going to do similarly for the rest of the three two we have one is for the rate of interest and for the timing so this is going to be the principal change handler the next one we have is the time change handler and I'm going to number of years would be parse in so whatever the user has entered in the time input box i'm going to store that in the number of years variable or you can say the property and the third thing is for the rate of interest also i have created a handler and whatever the user has entered in that rate field that will be stored in the rate of interest so here this is going to store that's simple as that and now we have to calculate the simple interest so as you know here when you click on the button this is what gets called calculate si handler let's go ahead and uh, define our handler here so in this section we will calculate the simple interest okay and that output would be displayed over here okay so we'll go back here in the calculate si handler and we'll say this dot of current output is equals to you know what the output is right simple interest is we're going to say simple interest is and then we'll use concatenation and here we are going to say this dot principal multiply by rate of interest right you know that rate of interest multiply by time so this dot number of years divided by 100 that is what the simple interest is simple okay so now what will happen is the output would be displayed on this on, in this place. This is where the output would be displayed. And now the next thing we need to do is we have this meta file that we need to update. Is exposed would be set to true and we will set the targets now. So now we have set up all the targets. We have this is our JS file. And uh, the parsint is giving us an exception because it needs a radix parameter as well. We will just leave it as it is. And then you have our calculator. So we are using this layout just for the look and feel. And we have three input boxes. First one to capture the principal. The second one to capture the time. And the third one is to capture the rate of interest. Once the user has entered the information, each of these input boxes has a handler attached to them. And when the value of the principal changes, this handler will be called. When the value of the number of the time will change, the input box will change, this handler will be called. And when the rate of interest input box value will change, this will be called. And then we are adding a button here, which says calculate SI. And when you click on that button, this is the handler that gets called. Inside of this handler, we are calculating the simple interest by the, this is the formula to calculate simple interest. And we are storing the value in this particular property. And this property is actually a trackable property, means it's a reactive property. So when the value of this property will change, 
it will re-render okay so that's why this will display it over here now let's go ahead and push our changes so we have pushed the changes now we are going to open our default org this is our default org let's go ahead and add our component to this page so we'll go ahead and hit the edit now let's get rid of this assistant one we don't need it right and uh, we don't need this one as well this was old one let's go ahead and add our component so the component name is simple interest calculator so let's add it over here and then hit the save button and then back now here we'll enter the principal let's say the principal is thousand and number of years five rate of interest is 10 now what should be the output here the output should be let's go ahead and see 500 so let's go ahead and calculate SI this should simple interest is 500 okay now if you change it to number of years is let's say 252 now the our simple interest should be 100 okay so this is calculating the simple interest so we have created a simple web component which is calculating the simple interest and we have used all our learning so far that we have done inside of this web component in the next tutorial we will do another example which is very similar to this one to calculate the area and like a shape calculator okay so i'll see you then thank you